Okay guys, so let's go ahead and get jumped into the tutorial. I already did my eyebrows off camera. I'm about to go ahead and prime my eyelids using the same LA Girl Concealer in the color Toffee. I'm just going to place that all over my eyelids using the tube, of course. And this is priming my eyelids, getting it ready for the eyeshadow. and blend that out using a concealer a flat concealer brush and I'm just gonna blend it all over my eyelids to make sure that it blends perfectly with the concealer from my eyebrows and that I have a clean flat base for my eyeshadow to sit on top of <laughs> So now for the fun part, we're about to go ahead and begin the eyeshadow. I'm going to use my transitioning shade from the LA Pro Concealer Contour Palette, I think it is. It was like $7.99. I got it from my beauty supply. I'm just going to apply that to my lid right above my crease. I'm going to use back and forth windshield wiper motions with the Morphe M200 blending brush. And I'm just going to blend that out all over the top part of my crease for my transitioning shade. And for this step, you don't have to use a contouring shade. I just use this shade because I really like it as a transitioning shade. It gives me like a reddish, brownish look. It's just perfect. I feel like it's my perfect transition shade for my skin tone. But you can use any reddish brown or reddish orange transitioning shade that you would like for this process. <laughs> So now we're going to go ahead and add our crease color. I'm using the BH Modern Mattes or Modern Neutrals palette, the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutrals palette. I'm sorry, guys. I don't have any of this in front of me. But I'm using the BH Cosmetics Modern Neutral palette, and this is the reddish-orange shade, and I'm going to apply that right underneath my transitioning, my transitioning shade in my crease using a Morphe blending brush. As you've seen before, it's a little tapered. It's a little more structured than the M200. But I'm going to place that right in my crease using windshield wiper motions and I'm just going to blend that out until it is flawless. Now I will add that this is indeed darker than my transitioning shade so you want to choose something similar but darker that's why I have two you know reddish orange shades on there. <laughs> Now I'm going to go ahead and go back in with my M200 brush just to blend that shadow out together so that they can blend together evenly. And this is a quick clip of what it should look like once you have both your eyes done with your two transitioning and crease color added on. Sometimes I like slim, sometimes I like thick, sometimes I come by and I like them slick. Them slick probably went over your head. Couldn't lay up, I just went over for head. Made a change of plans when she bent over the bed. And now she on the balcony, pent over the ledge. Been a few days, but I sent over some bread. It can get rough with her. And now we're about to go ahead and add in our final outer V darker shade. And this is going to go on my outer corner basically I'm going to add it on using a Morphe pencil brush it does not have a number and I'm just going to add that on to my outer V bringing it in halfway to my crease but not blending it up too much because I don't want it to be too dark up I kind of just want it to be on the outer corner kind of you'll see just watch <laughs> <laughs> I use dabbing motions during this process to add on the color only because darker shades in the BH Cosmetics palettes, they have a lot of fallout. So I was kind of using the dabbing motions to get it to stick, but you do just want to put it in the outer V and bring it in halfway to the crease. Not <laughs> Go ahead and grab that Morphe.
fluffy tapered blending brush and just blend out that darker shade not bringing it too far up but bringing it all the way in on my crease because it's not going to drag that darker shade too much in there so we want to go ahead and just blend it out not taking it too far up and you want to make sure that you're blending out so all the edges are soft and no defined lines so when you get done this is what it'll look like and i'm showing you guys the fallout that's how much fallout i had under my eye from one eyeshadow from the dark one but this is what it'll look like once you guys are done with the darker shade Now we're about to go in and prime for our blue eyeshadow. I'm using a smaller concealer brush, and I'm using that same LA concealer in the color Toffee. And being that I have hooded eyes, I'm going to draw my initial line with my eyes open so that I don't, like, ignore that crease or that kind of deep whatever demarcation that I have. I want to go ahead and op do it while my eyes are open, and then I open my eyes to clean it up and to make it perfect. So it is a really good trick to use if you have eyes that are like mine's that give you a crease and you don't want to see that crease while doing a half cut crease. <laughs> now I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye as well. Just doing that half cut crease, not making it perfect because we don't want it to go all the way out to the end. <laughs> start with our star of the show the blue lid color we're gonna use we're gonna apply that using a flat Mac eyeshadow brush and I'm actually gonna wet it a little bit just so I can get that full pigment that full bright pigment from that color and this blue is from the BH cosmetics foil palette so it's full of all foil shadows and it was really nice. I mean, the only thing I can say is when I put it on my eye, it wasn't as dark as it was in the palette. But, of course, not because it doesn't have all of the shadow with it. But it was very bright, very, and it was very pretty. It was. It was a pretty blue. It just wasn't that dark. It was a little lighter, like a tad bit lighter than what was in the palette. But it was really cute, and I really, and I really liked it. I really liked it. <laughs> and i'm just gonna pack the color on there using light padding motions it just gives the color more excitement i don't know it gives it more definition more pigment when you pat it on there that's when you know you're not going to be blending the product that much that's that's a good that's a good point you pack it on there when you're not going to have to blend it that much. But you can pack it when you blend it. Anyways, I'm packing it on here, you know, so it can be solid and vibrant. the blue shadow while it was a little wet we're going to give it time to dry before we blend out the crease edges and I go back in with that pencil brush and just slightly blend out the edges so I can get a soft line so it doesn't be like a how can I say it uh, um, like a straight line like I don't know like you can see the line we don't really want to see it so I went back in with that pencil with that pencil brush and just blend out blend it out any rough edges or lines I blended out any lines of demarcation. So now I'm gonna go ahead and this is what it should look like when you're done. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up any fallout. So that fallout that I had under my eyes from the dark shade, I'm gonna use my Equate 
I think it's this plate. It's Walmart brand, and it's the nighttime kind, but they're makeup remover wipes. And I'm just gonna wipe under all of that, wipe away all that eyeshadow, and that's all of it. It was a lot. <laughs> now I'm about to go ahead and apply my liner. I'm using the Elf. It's an Elf eyeliner in black. It's not very good, but. I'll list the name down below if you all like it. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyeliner. I don't know why I did it on camera because I'm not that good at eyeliner, but I guess you guys can just struggle with me and watch how I apply that. Don't judge, though, because eyeliner is it's very hard. complete the first eye well this is what I look like when I got done with my first eye so now I'm about to go ahead and do the second eye I think I do it off camera and this you is me deciding so if I'm going to do my second eye on camera or if I decide not to and I'm about to go ahead and insert the camera of what it looks like this is what it looked like when I was done see that eye is a little different but I can never make it perfect I hope you guys liked it you got it Hey guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, this is the finished look. On my lashes, I used the Vegas Nay lashes. Um, let me see if they have the name. I don't have the name, but let me turn this down. Sounds really loud. Okay, so I was like screaming. Anyways, I don't know the name. I threw the box away with the name of them, but... I put on the Vegas Nay lashes and I did, oh, I did liner. I didn't put that on because I never, I'm not, this is my first time doing my liner like this where it comes in, excuse me, where it comes in like at the corners. And I mean, I, I did a pretty good job. It doesn't look horrible, but I can be better. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if so don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys later in the next video bye